रेडी रोल हो रहा है दोनों का सवाल ही नहीं ना गोल गुज्जू है कि गोल गुज्जू है रिस्पेक्ट कर रहा था मैं हां यार लो भी लग रहा है It all started when our Guju grandfather married our Gon grandmother around 60 years ago. Not only did they break the shackles of a rather conservative society, but they also broke all the shackles when it came to food. From prawn curry rice to undiyo puri, this is our food journey. Hi, this is Aman. This is Alok, and, and we, we are the, the Gon and Guju. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Goan Good Juice. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Do you want to tell our viewers where we are today? Yes, of course. We are at uh, the fort area today, and the fort area is very famous for its fountain, the Flora Fountain. Right. And you must have seen a lot of fountains with water coming out of it. But today, I'm going to show you a fountain which has smoke coming out of it. Can't wait to see. So let's go and check it out. So guys, we are at my favorite Sizzler restaurant, Fountain Sizzlers, and uh, we are here to try some amazing sizzling hot Sizzlers. Ah, uh, like the name suggests, Fountain Sizzlers is known for its Sizzlers, and it's supposed to be one of the oldest restaurants in Bombay serving Sizzlers. And uh, I'm extremely hungry, and like I always say, without wasting any time, let's see what we're going to have today. We'll have what uh, the shashlik with the noodles. The uh, sizzling prawn barbecue with the rice, okay. and we we'll want the uh, fries with both. And uh, one portion of the tenderloin sandwich. Tenderloin. Okay. So, bro, what what is sizzlers? Like for people who don't know what sizzlers are, uh, do you want to tell our viewers what it is actually? Okay, so sizzlers is basically any meat, vegetable, hmm. or uh, noodles, rice served on a hot plate. Okay, so. Uh, it all started where uh, you know in Japan they serve your uh, wagyu steaks and everything Correct, on, on a hot plate, plate. Right. and uh, that's where the entire sizzler dish uh, originated from. Uh, someone must have gone to yeah, so Japan. The actual story, like you were saying, was a gentleman from Bombay went, went to, Japan. to Japan, saw the sizzlers, the, and they thought that we'll try to replicate it over here. Right. And without taking names, that's where the sizzler. And because we are Indians, we had to kind of super size it and add like hundred other things to it. Yes, we made it very Indian. Yeah. So it's not only meat or veggies; it's a combination of a lot of things. Do you know why the dish got so popular? Because it had a sizzling personality. First time I had sizzlers or I saw sizzlers was in the movie Amar Akbar Anthony, okay. when Amitabh Bachchan is having. Sizzlers with pran. Is this a fact? Is this a fact? Yes, it is a fact. I am asking the last time. Where is Robert? Where is Robert? Don't do acting. Don't do it straight. Don't do it straight. Or else, my man is going to open the door to the door. Okay, sir. What do you want to do with the door to the door? Don't do it with the door to the door, sir. Finally, we have all the food on the table, and it looks outstanding. I'm extremely hungry, but we'll just tell y'all what we have ordered, bro. What do? So we've got the sizzling prawns in barbecue sauce. We've got the chicken shashlik, which is the classic sizzler. The classic sizzler, yeah. the original one. 
and we've got some tenderloin steak sandwiches nice. which is our favorite to die for. Yeah. When you call for these sizzlers, you have an option of calling for them either with noodles or with rice. Yes, or with mashed potatoes only. Or with French fries or whatever. Yes. So what the combination that we've called for is with the shashlik, we've called for some noodles. With the prawns, we've called for some rice. And uh, because it's fried, we've called for French fries. And uh, we love fried food. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm very I'm, hungry. I'm surprised you know what this means. Because I know what this is. This is Channel V ka sign, no? You know what this means. I know what this means. I fucking love you. Got it. Okay. <laughs>just finished having the prawn sizzler that we called for. We completely polished it Completely off. polished it off and I, like I was saying, I think this is a dream of a dish. I'll tell you why, why I feel so. It has meat. It has veggies. It has rice. So it has proteins, carbs and more carbs. But to be uh, honest, it really is like a complete meal, right? If you call for one of it, you get your veggie intake, you yes. get your meat intake, you get your carbohydrate intake, all at the same time. Growing up, this was the only way I would eat my vegetables. Yeah, when they are served along with meat. Yes. Uh, but this is was absolutely fantastic. The prawns were nice, big, juicy prawns. Yes, nice and pieces of prawns, yeah. nicely deep fried and nice coated with the sauce. Uh, barbecue sauce. And uh, the accompaniment of the vegetables and fries On and point. the rice went superbly well together. So we're still very hungry and we still have one whole sizzler and sandwich to polish off. So yep, we're going to get at it. just finished eating the chicken sizzler also yes. uh, personally if you ask me i prefer the prawns one better to the chicken right. one what are you saying but having said that having said that the chicken pieces were really nicely grilled yes of course and i love uh, the chicken one as well I yeah. can't pick between so the two i i i pick the prawns but the chicken one is not bad at all especially the cheese that they use along yes. with the chicken it just tastes outstanding yes i agree yeah. so now we have one more thing left which is the Tenderloin steak sandwich. I'm, I'm extremely full right now, but the love for the sandwich is so much yes. that it's not the whole thing. Yes, sandwich gym jacket because the meat is shredded. Yeah, I don't know, I'm sleepy. I was hungry, now I'm not, and I'll be saying jokes. I don't know what to do. Simplifies that. This is what meaty goodness feels like. Yes. There's no for meat lovers. Tomato or any of that nonsense in this. If you are a meat lover, if you eat B dot 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 F or as they call it buff or as they call it uh, belief. Somebody calls it belief. I don't know. <laughs> um, jokes apart, if you are into red meat. You cannot miss this sandwich if you come to Fountain Sisters, right? Absolutely. It's a must have. And the best way to have it is with a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of mustard. 
which they serve over here along with the sandwich. So have it like that, and we're sure you won't regret. Yes, I'm not regretting any bite. So guys, we are joined here by Mr. Justin Fernandez. He is one of the oldest uh, members of Fountain Sizzlers. So hello, Mr. Justin. How yes. are you doing? Very fun. Good. Thank you so much for hosting uh, hosting us over here. It was enjoyed, really but fun. You enjoyed, but we we enjoyed a lot. Yeah. So uh, how long has it been that you're almost thirty you know? thirty seven years old this one? Okay. It's like a legend, you joined like people have come from their dad and their children have they all come here. Yeah. And uh, what do you think are the most popular dishes over here? You have more people love to have chicken chaslik. We have the steak here. The, I think that are two of our favorite dishes as well, like yeah. steak, mostly. And what about vegetarian dishes? Fountain veg is the I recommend for this. Fountain yes. veg yeah. sizzlers. Yeah, spaghetti, okay. mushroom. Wow, good for uh, vegetables in that for you. You all are doing a great job, and a special shout out to all the staff members. Yes. They've been extremely cordial and extremely yeah. uh, like they've served us with a lot of love. I feel, and yeah. with keen interest. Which is you know not very often you see that in restaurants, okay. but they've been absolutely yeah. wonderful. And all that love comes out in the food. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. We had a great experience, and we just want to thank you guys and just keep on doing what you guys are doing. Keep really, it. really good experience. So that was it for this episode of the Go and Good Juice. We are very, very full and very tired and very sleepy. So I'm going to leave the rest of the outro to Alu. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Govan Guju channel. And please give us a lot of love and support by sharing our videos and commenting on our videos. Okay, bye.